Hi everyone and welcome to my abs and core workout. Today's workout involves two 10 minute blocks. The first block involves five equipment based exercises, while the second block involves five equipment free based exercises. Both blocks include two rounds of five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. All right guys, let's get stuck into the warm up. Hi guys, welcome to the warm up. Let's get stuck in. We'll start off with three inchworms to push ups. So we're rolling down, walking up, pushing all the way back down and up again and walking our hands back in. Rolling down, walking our hands out, all the way to that high plank push up position and going up and down from there. We've got one more here, all the way up and all the way back down walking our hands all the way out and pushing up. Beautiful nice work guys. We're coming into a lunge with trunk rotations. We've got three on each side. Lunging forward, feel free to lunge forward or back, it doesn't matter. And then twisting out, rotating to each side. Nice big lunge forward deep bend in both knees, looking for that 92 degree angle bend. Nice last one here. And we're coming into a split stance T-spine rotation. We're doing five on each side. So having our feet nice and wide apart, taking opposite hand to opposite foot on each side big stretch all the way across while the other comes towards the ceiling. Beautiful, last one here. Nice, next one we're coming down to the ground. We're moving through a few movements here going from child's pose to up dog. So starting off in a child's pose, moving through to an upward dog. During the up dog you want to look up really squeeze the glutes and feel free to have your feet nice and wide apart squeezing the glutes here is just going to protect our back a little bit when we're moving forward just bringing our chest up and looking upwards as well we're here for a total of five nice and this will be our last one and then we've only got one more stretch left we're just coming to a standing position and just taking a few twists here standing far apart and just twisting to each side just take a few twists here and we'll get stuck into the workout to start off we have a pavlov press we're going to set this up on the cables we're setting it up about shoulder height and a resistance that suits us here we're just pressing all the way in and all the way out making sure we're staying nice and stable throughout the core let's go The second exercise we have here is a wood chop. Setting up the cables so it's all the way at the bottom and once again a resistance that'll suit us. Here we're going all the way down, coming across the body and all the way back up. All right, second exercise, let's go. For our next exercise, we have a hanging leg raise. From here, we're jumping up onto the bar and lifting our legs all the way up. 
If this is too tricky for us, feel free to transition like I have here into a knee raise instead. We've got 45 seconds here, let's go. Now for a front raise with a trunk rotation. Here I've got a 10 kilo plate, but anywhere between five and 10 kilos is good. We're just gonna lift it up and rotate towards each side. Nice work guys, you're doing so well. You've got one more exercise here and then we get a break. Here we've got weighted side bends. It's pretty simple here. All we're doing is grabbing hold of that same plate and just bending toward each side. All right, last one, we've got it. All right, guys, round two, we've got this, let's go. To start off, we've got heel taps. Nice and simple, just crunching forward, bending to each side, really squeezing our obliques. Let's go. Nice work guys, now we've got tabletop crunches. Here, just legs up in a tabletop like position, crunching all the way up, getting your wrist past your knee. 40 seconds on, we can do it, let's go.
last work guys now moving on to the next one we're here for a side plank dip nice and simple here dipping up and down here for 40 seconds you've got this guys let's go Nice work, our first side's done, now flipping over and moving on to the other side. Same thing here guys, staying nice and strong, dipping up and down for the 40 seconds on the other side. Our second last exercise, we've got this. Last exercise, a plank. We've got this, it's only 40 seconds, just making sure we're keeping our back nice and low to the ground, staying nice and stable, engaging the core. Last 40 seconds. Nice work guys, we're all done with the workout, we are completely finished. Now we'll just go over a few stretches. We'll start off with a child's pose, just reaching towards each side. With these stretches, feel free to do this in your own time, take as long or as slow as you want for these. We're moving across and reaching to the other side. Nice deep breaths here. Really feel that stretch within the side of your body. We're coming forward and just into the middle here. Nice long arms reaching forward as far as we can. Nice. And now from here we'll transition into an up dog. With this position really activates the glutes, the activate your glutes here to protect your back. We're just moving here from child's pose to up dog, just nice and slow at your own pace. On the up dog, feel free to really push your chest forward, looking up and squeezing the glutes, having our feet nice and wide apart. Coming forward, looking up, big deep breaths as we move through these stretches. And we'll take our last child's pose here, all the way down, nice and relaxed. The next stretch we're moving into is a lying trunk rotation so coming down lying on the ground keeping one leg straight and bending the other having our hands flat on the ground and stretch out to each side feel free to put a little bit more pressure on that knee to bring it closer towards the ground really pushing your shoulder and your knee to the opposite sides switch sides here and really feel that stretch looking towards your arm that's stretched out wide. Spending a few seconds on each side here. Next one, we're coming into a kneeling hip flex with trunk stretch. So 
So here coming down, kneeling, bringing one leg up, really push the glutes forward and just stretching over. Really feel that stretch within the side of your body there. And we'll switch sides. Should feel quite a large stretch here in your hip flexor as well as in the side of your body. Spending a few seconds on each side there as well. Coming down to our second last one here, we've got a, another trunk rotation, but this one we're sitting and we're just gonna apply a little bit of pressure from that elbow to that knee to really get an extra rotation in our trunk here. We'll switch sides, bending that knee over. Take some time to get into this position to make sure you've got it right and looking over our shoulder. Beautiful, we've got one last stretch here. We're just gonna come in and have our legs folded and we're just hinging forward and getting as close to the ground as what we can. I really want you guys to focus on bringing your chest towards the ground, not how far you can reach out, bringing your head towards the ground. Really focus on driving that chest all the way in towards your knees and further if you can. Nice guys, that's all the stretches done for the day. Nice work.